video, I'm gonna teach you, or show you, how I make this basket. It's meant for a Ren fair, so that you have, like, you know, a cute little purse or just bag to hold random things. Um, here is my current getup. In future videos, you're gonna see some crafts of me working on things for my costume and possibly my husband's costume, because I'm determined to a ring fair or some kind of experience this year so here's my get up um if you want to see more of my get up i show it off over on my tiktok so go give that a look see um but yeah this video is going to be the making of this basket so if you can't hear me it's because i'm outside next to row. anyway stay tuned and you'll see the process thanks for watching have a great day. Bye. Okay, so just so you know, I completely winged this. Um, first thing I did was make a flap out of cardboard. I should have painted both sides. For some reason, I didn't. Uh, but cut it to the size of that. Um, to get the size I needed, I measured it. Then I had this old shirt laying around that I didn't really like how it felt. So I used it for the liner of the basket, which is important if you plan to actually use it to hold things. Um, just did a quick, easy hand stitch up that. And yeah, that was pretty simple to do. Upcycle when you can. Um... I don't know why I filmed so long of me stitching, probably just to show how long it took to do. Um, don't have a sewing machine, also hand stitching is kind of relaxing to me, so I don't mind it. Um, but get that all sewed up and then start lining the basket and doing little dabs of hot glue all the way around. Um, I did some, I wanted it to be seamless, so I did some splits where the handles were and cut them up. Um, but real easy project. Like I recommend if you just want like something to hide stuff in your house to do you some a little basket flower arrangement. You can like hide the remote, hide candy in there, hide whatever put your weed in there. Hide whatever you want. Uh but it's really cute and like whenever I'm not using it for a costume accessory, I'll probably use it as decor. But Oh, finally, it's moved on. <laughs> but I laid down some moss where I knew there would be just empty space if there was any. And then I started arranging the flowers. Um, lay first, take off, glue second. Make sure you're fine with where you want it before you apply glue to it, okay? Um, I go with the rules of symmetry when I do flower arrangements. I just prefer that way, but you could put whatever you want in here you could buy you some fake fruit you could put you really whatever you want on top of there is a nice little bag um then i took twine and wrapped the handle because the handle by itself didn't feel like it would be comfortable to hold all day the addition of the twine gets rid of the sharp edges of the handle so i think it'll be more comfortable to do it that way it's also very relaxing to just do this. I like doing crafts. Um, see, what else to talk about? Whenever I do crafts, I usually watch a random series. For this one, I watch Demon Slayer. <laughs> um, oh, I should probably tell you why the sudden interest in wanting to go to a Renaissance Fair. Um, earlier in the summer, my friend Ashton was so kind to invite me to this awesome fire con for Game of Thrones. And I had just a great time, but I felt a little left out not having a costume. So I wanted to have a costume for the next time we go, if we go. And I've always wanted to go to a Renaissance fair. So two birds, one stone, you know? If you like this kind of video, be sure to let me know because I'm probably going to document the entire process of me making my renaissance costume. I have some embroidery patches that I'm going to be adding to the dress dresses. 
Um, I'll also probably be making things for Mike's costume. Like, I hope to make, like, a sword and maybe some leather crafts. And if you all want to watch that, be sure to let me know or follow. Um, there's something sp specific you'd like to see costume-wise, let me know. Because I do enjoy making costumes and costumes accessories. It's just a lot of fun. And, like, if I'm occupying my hands, it's also occupying my mind, which is good for me. Because mental health matters. But, yeah, it does create a mess in my house with all my stress and my, my stuff. But I would I'd really like to get into, like, making stuff for other people, you know. Because I love, like, when something I make goes to someone who genuinely wants it. Um, that's why I like doing the craft fairs I've been doing lately so much. That's why I've not been doing a lot of videos, too, by the way, is because I've been busy with craft fairs and what not. But I love the craft fairs because I get to meet the people by myself, whereas online you don't really get to meet the people. So it's been nice. Um, what else do I have going on? Oh, if you'd like to support my art, I have a GoFundMe. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Um... So far, the GoFundMe has raised enough money t for me to buy a heat press for the vinyl crafts I've been doing, which have been going really good. I've sold a lot of the bags at the shows. Um, I still would like to get a printer. Um, I would also like to be able to afford a vehicle more appropriate for doing crafting events because I drive a little old Honda and you can't really put much in the back of that thing. So... Yeah, and also it helps with some medical bills I've been having. So, yeah, if if you would like, please donate to my GoFundMe. On the GoFundMe, there's a video describing what you get for donating. Like, you're not just donating and getting nothing. Um, I have a tier of rewards where if you donate, you can get stickers, a tote bag, prints. And, yeah, so you're not getting nothing for donating you you need to donate ten dollars at least um i'll probably still send you something if you donate less it's it's not a big deal but you know every little bit it helps and i really appreciate it the final touches on this bag um i wanted to have a little bit more safety so i added a magnet and i had a necklace that i'd never wear yes because you know the tism sometimes the neck doesn't like things but I felt like it was perfect for this because it's a little bee. And um, I will do a 360 shot at the end of this video. So y'all can like get a better view of it. But yeah. I really appreciate y'all. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching my video. And I promise I will announce the giveaway soon. I've just been so tired. And making videos is stressful <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> and mentally ill. Um... Yeah, have a good day. Thank you. Bye.